Welcome once again. My name is Robert Webster. I'm from 1UP IT, and I've just got a quick video on the HTML canvas and two plugins that I've just used, and I reckon they're pretty good and they work well together. Um, one is called Sketch.js, uh, which is located here, so it's on GitHub, and basically it gives you the ability to draw sketching in canvases and then do a whole bunch of manipulation on it. Kinetic uh, JS, on the other hand, uh, has a bit more features to it, but it doesn't actually have this sketching or it doesn't have an easy way to do just simple sketching. So what I've done is I've combined the two uh, in order to allow me to basically have my client do a sketch then load some other elements with Kinetic.js on there which can be draggable and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to go through that and actually show how that is done. So I'm going to create a brand new space on developer.oneblankspace.com so I'm doing this within my digital structure and I'm just going to call this canvas testing. So first I'm going to add the Google APIs, the jQuery. Uh, so my site ID is 1493 so I'm just going to modify my scripts to see that. So there's the two uh, scripts or plugins that I'm using plus I've got my own JS that I'm going to be putting in there that I'm going to be driving the examples from. So I'm going to save that. Okay so we've got our three files uploaded. We've got our external script reference to jQuery. So let's jump in to the URL and see what this does. So as you can see there's a bit of HTML here even though I haven't created a page yet all this is actually being generated by the canvas.js file which I added. So we'll go into the canvas.js and I'll show you what's actually happening here. So this is all running on page load. Uh, we're appending a div uh, with an ID of my sketch with a canvas contained inside and we're appending a my kinetic div uh, with no canvas inside and then a whole bunch of buttons and a whole bunch of binds to those buttons. This one is empty at the moment because we're going to do this one later. So I'm just going to show you how my sketch or the sketch.js will work. So I'll get out of this and we can just see that when the sketch function is called what will happen is that the canvas that's within my sketch will just all of a sudden be able to draw it. That's it. So this uh, library is pretty handy for that kind of stuff if you just want a simple drawing object. So at the moment I'm clicking, I'm trying to draw on this thing, I can't. Remember the brown one is the one that is uh, the sketch and the, the right one is the kinetic. So if I go to make sketch and I go back, all of a sudden I can draw on it. So that's it, simple line of code um, and that plugin and then we're, we're good to go, we can have a sketching. Thing. Now, it's pretty useless to have your user sketch on something and then not be able to get the de details of that something back. So that's why we can actually convert this into an image directly, uh, which is the next button. So close that up. So we're up to this stage here. So all these all these bindings are just uh, standard jQuery. There's nothing too flashy going on here. Um, and all this uh, will be made available online as well. So sketch get URL. That's all we're going to do. Sketch get URL. So we'll go into here and have a look. So we're creating a new variable which we're calling the canvas. So we've got to point to that canvas object. So because we're returning a jQuery object, we've got to basically pass it back and say that we want only the first instance in this object. We don't need to do a get element by uh, this avoids us doing a get element by ID so we can actually do a bit more of a smart lookup on it. Okay, so once we get that canvas element, I've created a variable which is a global variable called sketch data URL, and I'm basically going to use canvas dot to data URL. Now this is an element; um, it's an actual function that's part of canvas as far as I know uh, that so it's a HTML5 method that converts any canvas into a URL uh, with data and it defaults to PNG but you can pass through other stuff as well if you wanted to convert it to a JPEG or whatever so then I'm passing this back in 
and this is going to open up in a new window and we should be able to see the image and save it if we wanted to. But okay, so we're back. And because I haven't clicked make sketch, that still I can't sketch on it. I'm going to click make sketch. There we go. And now we're going to go get sketch image. And it pops up and we can see that it's there. It's got an invisible background because even though the canvas looks white here, it's just white because I've got a white background at this point in time. So we've got our PNG, we can save it. So we have our sketch get URL firing. Now we can use Kinetic. Now what does this add? It adds a whole bunch of functionality that we can not do with the sketch uh, plugin. So things like edit, editing shapes and that kind of stuff on top of the canvas. So we're going through the make kinetic function and then we're going to go through the uh, kinetic get URL. So we're calling this new variable called stage. Now stage is a global variable and we're making a, a new kinetic object of type stage. Now the container we're pointing to is the ID which I have created uh, the container, the div, and that's going to basically go through and create all the different canvases that we need uh, and the ones that Kinetic will manage. So I'm creating a new layer, I'm creating some star shape objects, and then I'm using the caching example on the Kinetic website, which I'll, I'll attach to this YouTube video, uh, to create uh, stars within that layer. And it's going to be 10 stars and they're all going to be draggable. Okay, the only thing that I'm adding that's different from the example is that I'm adding another layer which is going to capture the information and allow us to copy it from the sketch.js canvas to the kinetic example and not interrupt any of the stars that we're creating. Okay, so I've done my sketch drawing now. I'm going to click on make kinetic. So as we can see, it's actually displayed the stars. It's got 10 and they're draggable as well. And I've still got my sketch on this side if I wanted to add more to the sketch. Uh, it's all good. Get Kinetic Image is very similar to the way that I got the um, data URL for the sketch. So if we go to go down to Kinetic Get URL. So what I'm doing is I'm using the variable of stage and using two data URL which is uh, because I've set up the Kinetic stage as a, a kinetic object, there's a two data URL um, which is exposed with a callback. Because we've got a lot of information in this kinetic canvas, uh, it's not going to happen instantaneously as it did with the, with the sketch. Put a callback in there so when it actually does finish it, we want to do something with that data URL. In this case, I just want to open the kinetic data URL. Okay, so I'm just going to go through and do that. So get kinetic image. As you can see, it's taking a bit of loading and then bang, it's in there. Now, this is a static image, so I'm trying to drag these stars. I can no longer drag them, but if I was to go back into the canvas, I can still drag this one because this is still a kinetic stage that I can move stuff around in. So I can do another generate and it will display the new edited version of that. So really cool. This data image actually can be put straight into an image source. So if you specify this as a source, most browsers will recognize it and just render the image. Um, but these can become quite a bit of data. So you're basically saving the image. So you don't want to do that a lot of the time unless you're doing uh, merging of two data URLs and things like that, which what what we're getting to now. So. In my mind, I wanted to combine the stuff that's happening in Sketch and the nice drag and drop stuff that's happening in this Get Kinetic image, and I couldn't do that or couldn't find a way to easily do it and match the Kinetic with the Sketch. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a two step process. You do your Sketch, we're going to store the image by using the Get Sketch image, and then we're actually going to copy sketch to kinetic so all this data will come across here but we'll still be able to move the stars around okay so I'll show you how we have done that okay so as you can see we've got the two variables which will hold our data URLs so the sketch data URL will actually take a snapshot of that sketch URL on the left hand side and 
the kinetic.url is the one in our completed form. So this is the one that we're going to open when we want to see what's actually happened. So you notice before I actually, when I was creating my kinetic, I made this blank, blank layer, sketch layer, and then I added it to the stage. So this is where we're actually going to push in the, um, the information from the sketch. So I'm just going to inspect both of these. And here we go. So in my sketch, uh, the canvas that I had created previously is unchanged. It's all basically the same. So sketch does little to no HTML modification. It just picks up the canvas and makes it sketchable. Okay. Whereas kinetic, I didn't have anything contained within that HTML originally, but making it kinetic, it actually appends this class of kinetic JS content and then puts my canvases, which are essentially layers, inside that. One of the layers will control the stars and one of them will be the blank layer that I'm actually going to push this stuff into, this sketch information. So in this case, my because I've pushed the sketch layer or the blank layer in last, it's going to be last in the list. So I'm actually going to get back the second uh, in the array uh, canvas that's being returned. And I'm going to be marking that as a context. Okay. Now all this information is taken directly from Kinetic. Uh, the examples there that they have on loading a data URL into a a canvas or onto a layer. So what I'm actually doing is just retweaking this example to work with the plugin of Sketch.js. So we have a rectangle. We're going to get the sketch image. So there we go. We've got that string saved into our variable. Now we're going to make kinetic. So remember this can drag and drop. We can drag and drop all the different stars and stuff. And now we're going to copy sketch to kinetic. It's going to take a snapshot, transfer it across here. Now, the important bit is that we can still do our kinetic adjustments. So we can still drag and drop our images over. So it's taken essentially a snapshot of whatever has happened at this stage and has made it editable uh, in the kinetic format. So this is a good way that you can merge two uh, plugins together. There, as I said, there was a way that you can actually do a sketch in Kinetic, um, but it wasn't well documented, so I just went with sketch.js and used that instead, and then had a two-step process. So, if I was to update this, for instance, it's going to copy the same rectangle because it, I haven't changed or I haven't done get sketch image yet. So, if I do copy sketch to Kinetic, it's actually just copied the same thing across again. If I do get sketch image, remember I've stored this, so I've overwritten the new variable, and now I'm going to copy the sketch. It has the internal thing, and it's still all editable and things like that. If you didn't want to Im incorporate this as a uh, image directly, you could incorporate probably as a, a sprite and make this draggable as well so there's a few different ways and now we can obviously do the get combined image now get combined image and get kinetic image are going to be identical because we're still just grabbing the image that's available here and because we're creating this within a kinetic object as in the object here kinetic knows about both layers so it knows to rasterize both of the layers together so if I go get combined image obviously it's going to take a while so a bit of information, but there we go. We've got our image and we can't edit any further. So that can be embedded into a web page or converted to a PDF or whatever you want to do with it. Okay, so that's it. I just thought that was pretty uh, pretty cool. I'll put up the links on how to actually do this and the links back to the code. And you can have a look at Sketch.js and Kinetic.js. Uh, Kinetic.js is an extensive library which can do a lot of things, including some nice animations as well. Uh, Sketch.js is just a simple sketching thing, but it's simple, <laughs> so it's very easy to implement. You just need a canvas and just need to basically point it to it and give it a call. So that's it. Thanks, I'm Robert Webster from 1UP IT and uh, thanks for watching. Bye.